Nobody wants to be a bad person, but sometimes we might just need a second opinion to be sure that we're not too bad already. And today we're bringing you 10 signs to see if you're a bad person. Number 10. You don't take responsibility. Think of the last time you did something wrong but weren't exactly caught doing it. How'd you handle the situation? Did you own up to your mistake or did you let someone else take the fall for you? Number 9. Your sense of humor involves making fun of people constantly. Now, there's nothing wrong with poking fun at your friends and being a little sarcastic from time to time. But how often do you do this? Do you think you poke fun maybe a little bit too much? Number 8. You have to be the center of everyone's attention. Now, this one should be pretty obvious. The world isn't about you. But if you tend to think that it is, you may want to take a look in the mirror. Number 7. You constantly judge people. Now, judgment is easy. Whether you notice it or not, we all do it from time to time. But just how often do you vocalize your judgment? How often are you really judging people? Is it every once in a while, or is it every time you meet someone new? Number six, you don't really listen to people. Sure, you may act like you're listening, but it's pretty much just going in one ear and out the other. Yes, people are boring sometimes, but that's no excuse for never giving them a chance. Number five, you're always on your phone. Now, it definitely seems like everyone's on their phone nowadays, so don't worry. We're not saying that if you're on your phone, you're automatically a bad person. But how often are you looking at your phone? Are you surfing Instagram while people are talking to you? Are you going to social gatherings while occupying yourself on Twitter? There's a definite difference between being on your phone and being occupied by your phone. Number four, you make yourself the victim. Now, this one goes all the way back to our first entry. But let's imagine that this time you were caught in the act of doing something wrong. Well, do you own up to it? Or do you try to make it no longer about the action itself and instead make it about how things are unfair to you? Maybe something terrible happened and you just had to do that thing that people are mad at you for. Maybe life is just so unfair to you and you had to be a nuisance to those around you. Number three, you always have to be right. Now, if you can't admit that you're wrong, that's one thing but it's a whole other thing to not even be able to tolerate being wrong. Sure, it sucks to be on the losing side of an argument. We've all been there. But if you always have to find some aspect of the situation to make yourself the winner, you should probably take another, even harder look in the mirror. Number two, you only treat some people with respect. Now, everyone should be treated with respect, but not everyone sees it that way. Sometimes only some people deserve our respect and maybe just the people who benefit us in some way get respected. Or maybe just our friends get respect. Does this sound familiar to you? If it does, we might have some bad news for you. And finally, number one, you always tell people just how great you are. And if you're convinced that you're a wonderful human being and you have no problem telling people how great you are, then we've got bad news for you. One of the biggest giveaways of bad people is how often they talk about their own best qualities. If people knew you were a good person, you wouldn't have to tell them time and time again. So all right, there we go, guys. That's it for our list of 10 signs to see if you're a bad person. Do you recognize any of these personality traits in yourself or anyone you know? Be sure to let us know down in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, drop a like and subscribe for more great content. But that's going to be it for this one, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll catch you all in the next one.